Good Thursday morning, everyone. My name is Costa Guerra. This is my beautiful wife, Sammy Guerra, coming to you live on this beautiful Thursday. It is 11 a.m., and we're going to be with you for the next 11 minutes. Hence, as we always talk about it, 11-11. We're very excited to bring you another episode of Epic Share, where concepts are absolutely worth sharing in that each and every one of these episodes. So today's topic, my love, is about... I, can I share? Absolutely. Yeah, so it's about mutual gain, and it's also known as a win-win. It's a very important and very interesting topic to many of us. So with that, honey, let's dive into it Absolutely. and discuss some ideas that we have come up with. Absolutely. And this is actually for me an eye opener in a relationship. Uh, you know, I learned so much uh, because a lot of the thing that we do in society, it's about win and lose. People mm -hmm. always or think about themselves and forget about when you have a discussion and when you have a deal and you have a partner, you can still make a win-win situation. And, and as you know, honey, and most people know, unfortunately, that's part of our DNA as a human. It's a behavior that we have sort of adapted into over the years, over the generation. So we're going to talk about how you can change that today to come up with a win-win, not just pretending is a win-win, rather it's actual good intention and, and wanting to be a win-win. Not a win-lose, not a win or so anything else, actual win-win, honey. Absolutely, and it has a couple different meaning about win-win that I want to touch on it. For sure. One about relationship, when you go shopping together and we get into the detail about house shopping or any other stuff. And the other, the win-win situation that we are gonna talk about and touch on it, it's communication. <coughs> because as a couple, as a friend, as a business partner, there is a With your kids, with yeah, anyone, yeah, absolutely. With, with everything, you know, there, there is a communication that, you know, need to take place and, uh, and what we usually do when it's not convenient for the other person or they're not ready to talk about it, well, what is the expression? You throw under the rug? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. You, you hide things because <laughs> yeah, it doesn't yeah. bring me peace? Yeah, absolutely. I lived that <laughs> in a past relationship. Let's talk about that, actually, honey, because you mentioned to me previous relationships you've had, business, personal, you actually personally first-hand experience it that. was definitely it affect me at you know in so many different level because you know if my at the time my partner was ready to speak so mm -hmm. he had to speak because he's ready to communicate and if it was a concern that I have to him was oh it doesn't bring me peace you know it's it has a lot of darkness let's not talk about it which so usually ended in a walk away type of a relationship we're not it will never you know uh, uh, keep the relationship strong eventually one of us will walk away but for me it built resentment and you don't realize because I couldn't communicate you know my frustration or my concern that turned to a frustration of course and that also applies in a business world the same so uh, I, I have many dealings with uh, many uh, of my colleagues business partners including my best friend which for the last 18 years uh, I am pretty confident that I can uh, uh, stand before you here today and tell you that every deal we've ever made, we both have walked into that deal with a win-win mindset. Not how I can win and you lose, not a 60-40, not a 70-30, mm -hmm. through 50-50. It's a win-win. And in a business world, it's imperative because, like you said, somebody is not winning, they will have that resentment, correct? Of love? course, of course. And and we forget. You want a business partner. You want a loved one in a relationship. But you forget it. If you want that person, you have to treat each other equal, you mm -hmm. know, for sure. So if I... You know, let's say I'm in a business relationship with Costa, and if I don't feel peace about some of the decision, the best thing to do is communicate. He will ask me, I know for a fact, and I know it's guaranteed in this relationship, that he will ask me why you don't feel peace. Let's come up with another plan that we both can benefit. That's what it's a win-win. And um, we can even take that one step farther, talk about the relationship we have with our grandson, and how what we did actually that's your uh, you know that's your time to talk about it because he treat the relationship as a business deal for sure I did that uh, he is at that time he was six years old and I knew his favorite toy was dinosaurs <coughs> so I said hey let's sit down at a dining table and let's make two deals a win-win win for you wife win for you because you get your favorite toy dinosaurs 
a win for us. What uh, uh, grandma and I need for you to do at this stage, which I think one of them was reading books uh, usually every day and uh, the other stuff that he would do. So it was a win-win. So we went into that relationship. We, I remember, we actually shook hands. I have a, I have a video, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> it was adorable because, you know, one of the, the, the main focus with our children that, you know, I know growing up, uh, we don't ask questions. And a lot of time, I done. I, I'm guilty of this. I done it with my child, you know, in the past. I w if the, the kid <clears throat> said, Mom, why I should not do, why can I do this? And I will usually say in the past, that was the old me, well, I'm your mother and I say so. It's said to give them an understanding so they can, you know, understand that, you know, the reason why you're not able to do this, or I don't want you to do this, it's because of the outcome of it. <clears throat> and again, you can take that philosophy and logic and apply it to any relationship, even including your work relationship with your co-workers, uh, uh, you know, employee, employer, uh, uh, you know, in any shape or form. And I do that still today with a lot of my employees that... Uh, I often present to them a win-win situation. You're very Win fair for man. you, win yeah. for the company. Absolutely. And everybody's going to be happy. They're going to outperform. They're going to be excited. And more important, they're going to put their heart and soul into that, whatever the negotiation is. Absolutely. Absolutely. I know we don't have much time. You know, time's flying very quickly. Of course. But I want to give an example that a lot of people can identify with that. Like in the relationship, when we go shop for houses, this is one, you know, simple example, but, you know, I have a feeling you will benefit from it. Him and I went shop for a house, and, you know, he there is the first house that we saw, he likes it, I didn't. And then the second house I saw, I like it, he didn't. And then we finally sit down and communicate and try to go down to negotiation and said, why you didn't like the first one, why I didn't like the second one. And we give realistic, honest feeling mm -hmm. about how we truly feel. It wasn't <coughs> about he's the one with the money, he's the one with investing in the house, so I have no say so. He treat me equal so I can express my communication with him. Absolutely, and I'll add something serious to that, is <laughs> after so many nights of sleeping on the couch, <laughs> I learned to definitely agree and have a win-win, maybe 51-49, just so I can go back to bed and sleep there. <laughs> but on a serious note, for sure. So we even do that, honey, with furnitures, with cars, anything we purchase that is mutually beneficial for both of us. Absolutely. We come to agreement because, like you said, one of the houses we saw, again, this is just an example, it happened to have one closet which we knew for us is going to be a problem. Well... <laughs> if we know him, you can share a closet. I was willing to have a little tiny box as my closet just to not share with him because I know this will create a lot of argument with each other. For but, sure. But here's the best part. It's with enough patience and not rushing into buying a home, we end up finding the perfect home together. We both like it. We both came in an agreement and everybody's happy. And you can take that and apply those fundamentals to every component. Yeah and every aspect of your life. Personal, business, boyfriend, girlfriend, mom, dad, cousins, literally every aspect. So I do that even with my family. Uh, you know, come visit once, I'll come visit you. So we have that sort of a mutual win-win for all parties. Absolutely, and master that communication because when you do negotiate, and that's you know what I appreciate about my relationship right now, we do a lot of communication. And, and that's, again, important because what, what that does, it brings a different aspect to that a negotiation. When you truly communicate, openly communicate, you allow the other party hear your perspective. Mm -hmm. So they understand the reasoning why you're addressing certain concerns, perhaps, about that deal. Of so course. very, very important. So communication, I would recommend, just like you do, number one. Be a good listener. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And more often than not, most people, unfortunately, do most of the talking and less listening, as mm -hmm. God has given us two ears, one mouth. So imperative in such a relationship to have that. Absolutely. So just really remember that, you know, win-win, it's always the way to go. There is no win and lose. There is no lose-lose. There is no, 
you know, when when it's really by the end of the day, you know, you treat people like human with respect and you honor their feeling before you're gonna make a decision. Totally. And what that does allows you to feel good about it, feel good the relationship without any resentments on either side. And that's the key in this uh, world today, correct? Absolutely, absolutely. A and uh, we've, again, we've experienced that, honey, in our personal relationship, work with employees, with coworkers, with uh, partners, all aspects, even with neighbors, I have the same. So uh, I know we're coming close to the end of our uh, mm -hmm. uh, um, um, show today. And again, remember, this show takes place every Thursday at 11 a.m. for 11 minutes. You can follow us on all the social media channels from Facebook to YouTube and uh, LinkedIn. And we'll have many other things to share with you guys over the next weeks. Of course, and, and don't be shy, ask a question. You know, Absolutely. It, it, ask question because when you ask the question, you you supporting us on answering and helping another person. Absolutely, sure. thank yeah. you, honey. Our time is up, thanks for yours. Have an epic, epic week. Bye everyone. Bye.